interesting concept or i should say the property of sorting algorithms is called stability right so stable sort is not the name of a sort right stability stability is a property stability is a property of sorting algorithms that we sometimes want right before we go and understand why we need it let's first understand what is stability in a sorting algorithm right so if you go to wikipedia article for sorting algorithms like for sorting algorithms here i am this is the page for sorting algorithms right and this is a subsection called stability there is a very nice diagram here which explains the concept right imagine i have cards like this right this is number 7 with this black uh, symbol this is 5 this is 2 and this is 5 now when i sort it right when i sort it based on these numbers based on these numbers in increasing order i can get two options right i can either see this where you have 2 5 5 7 or again i can get the same 2 5 5 7 but here if you notice the red 5 is is before the black 5 right notice that right in this in this see both these are sorted this is also sorted and this is also a sorted outcome both of them are sorted if you are sorting based on the number here both of them are sorted but there is one key distinction between this output and this output let's call this output 1 and this is output 2 in output 2 if you notice the, the what is the order see there are two fives here right which have the same value these are basically two two cards with exactly the same value now if the order in which they are initially present in for example initially in the input data this is the input data that i have right in the input data if you notice i have the red 5 before the black 5 right this is important i have the red 5 ahead of the black 5 right my red 5 is there before the black 5 in the output here in output 1 this is output 1 this is output 2 both of them are sorted in output 1 this order that the red 5 is before the black 5 is retained even in this output the red 5 is before the black 5 in this order right so whatever is there in the input this is the same element whenever you have the same element this is only for same elements right because 5 and 5 the same element is repeating if the output the order of the output elements is same as the order of the input elements in other words this red is before the black in the input because the 5 is the same element here only in the case of same elements right even in the output the red 5 is before the black 5 this is said to be a stable sorting a sta this this is what stability means right and if your algorithm if your algorithm if your algorithm ensures if you if your sorting algorithm whatever your sorting algorithm is since we are looking at insertion sort right if your sorting algorithm generates an output such that for the cases where you have the same element same value same element if the input order is same as the output order that algorithm is said to be stable now let's take another example take it take the example of what not stable means if your algorithm generated an output like this wherein when you have the same element 5 you have the same element 5 here in the input right now here you have the red one before the black one but in the output in the output the black one is before the red one right so the order is messed up here so for for elements which have the same key value if the order is not preserved here the order is not preserved right such an algorithm is said to be not stable right again very simple look at the arrows this is there before this and even in the output this is there before this because these two values are the same in a step in a non stable sorting algorithm right this 5 the because it's the same 5 here and here the red one in the input is before the black one but in the output the black one is before the red one which means the input order of a repeated element see this 5 is a repeated element right this 5 is a repeated element right 
So when you have a repeated element, if the input order in which these two elements are there is preserved in the output, it is said to be stable, otherwise unstable or non-stable, right? Your insertion sort, your insertion sort is a stable algorithm. Your insertion sort is a stable algorithm, right? You can simply verify this by going through the code, right? The insertion sort that we discussed right now is a stable algorithm. Very interesting property, right? So this diagram is a very, very nice way to understand the concept of stability, right? So to summarize it, let me write it down for you, right? So when you have repeated elements, when you have repeated elements, so when you have repeated elements in your input, if the repeated elements appear in the same order, in the same order as in the input, as in the input, right in the output so in the output so the, the key is this in the output repeated elements should appear in the same order as they are in the input right here the repeated element is a five right if it is so then the algorithm then the sorting algorithm is said to be stable so stability is a property not a type of algorithm just to be clear now you might wonder so we learned what is stability right so we learned what is stability here right very important question but the next immediate question that comes to my mind is why is stability important where is it used how is it used so let me give you a real world example imagine i have a data which is stored in a table form like this right imagine i have some data like this right which happens a lot in databases suppose i have some data where i have the price of the data right a price of each item and the name of each item Let's assume this is the data that I have, right? So let's assume I have $23 as the price for an Apple, uh, probably a connector or of some sort, $36 for a Lenovo, right? I'm just taking an example here, $31 for an Acer connector of some sort. Again, $31 for an Asus connector, $40 for a HP connector, and $60 for a Lenovo connector, right? So let's assume I first sort this. So I sort it by name, let's say. Suppose I sort by the name field. Just the way we have sorting, we have we have learned about sorting by numbers, you can also sort by, sorry, you can also sort by, alf by, by characters, right? You can also sort alphabetically, right? We have seen sorting by numerical values. Similar thing can be done by sorting by alphabetically or sorting, it's, called, it's also called as lexicographically right so sorting by name alphabetically alphabetically or lexicographically that's the that's the technical term now when i sort this what is the what is the so first basically what am i doing i'm sorting by name i'm not sorting by price so first step here is sort by name when i sort by name what is the output that i would get let's write it down here right when i sort it by name i would get my price and name would be here right the first one which I would get is Acer with $31, right? Acer $31. Then Asus, which is also $31. Sorry, then Apple. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There is Apple also. I'm sorry. There is Apple here. The next one is Apple, an Apple device, which is, let's say, $23. Because I'm sorting by name. I'm not sorting by price. So if you see, since both a both of these are a's we compare the second character here c comes before p that's why a sir comes before apple that's what lexicographic sorting means if you have the same first character compare the second character if you have the same second character compare the third character so on so forth right so the third one would be asus the fourth one will be hp the fifth one will be lenovo the sixth one also will be Lenovo, right? So this is, I'm sorting by name. Let's assume first I sort by name. In the second step, let's say I sort by, in the second step, let's say I sort by price. So I've already sorted by name. Remember, this is already sorted by name. This is already sorted by name. Now I'm doing, now I'm doing a sort by price. Right? When I do this, this happens a lot in the real world. Right? This happens a lot when you have data that you want to manipulate in your databases. 
right? So let so once I sort by name, how do I, how will my output look like? Let's do it. Sorry, once I sort by price, how would the output look like? So this is my price and this is my name. Right here, here if you look at it, when I sort by price, right, the the lowest price is twenty three, which is Apple. Right. Now I have two products which I have the same price thirty one. Right, I have the same price thirty one, both for Acer and Asus. Right now, if I have a stable sort, remember, if my sort is stable, if my sort is stable, then the input order will be preserved in the output, which means Acer will come, Acer will come before Asus. Right, because in this, in the input, in the input. My because both both of them have the same value thirty one thirty one, right? Now, if the input order in the input order thirty one for Acer comes before thirty one for Asus, even here if you look at this, the input out order and the output order match here, right? If it's a stable sort, if it is not a stable sort, these two could get jumbled up. Now, let me tell you why this is important, right? So the, you have thirty six dollars Lenovo. Then forty dollars HP, and again sixty dollars product, which is Lenovo. Right now, now look at look at what is happening here. This is this is lots of fun, because you have sorted first by name. This is your first sorting that you have done. Your second sorting is by price. Your final sorting that you get is such that it's obviously sorted by price. But if something is like this, where two items have the same price, right, which happens a lot. When you when you have items which have the same price, you are guaranteed that they are sorted by name, because you have performed the sorting by name initially, and this will this this property will only be useful will only will only be valid if it's a stable sort. Imagine if the sort by price was not stable, then these two could have gotten jumbled up. So in lots of databases, when you store data. you might want to say that first i want to sort it by price and if two items or more items have the same price i want them to be sorted based on the second property which is the name if they have the same price and to achieve that right this is this seems logical right because if you're searching for this information right if you're searching for all the products which are 31 dollars you can easily find it because they are sorted right that's one number 2 because this is there also sorted by name so you have two sortings here one sorting the primary sorting is on the price but if the price is the same for two or more products they are now sorted alphabetically by name right that's because we first sorted by price uh, we first sorted by name if this was not a stable sort and these two got jumbled up this whole sorting operation would have been useless because whatever because here whatever we are trying to do here which is sorting by alphabetic uh, by by name alphabetically is no more preserved here right just because this sorting by price algorithm is a stable sort algorithm like insertion sort because it is so right this output is guaranteed to have sorted order when the price is the same this is the real world implication on why we need uh stable sort algorithms or sorting algorithms which are stable right because when you want to sort by multiple columns of data right we might want to have a situation many times where if the products have the same price we want them to be sorted by the next column which is name right and so on so forth and this can be done for multiple columns not necessarily two columns you could have a table with tens of columns you could sort one after the other as long as all of your sorting algorithms are stable you are guaranteed to have this property preserved okay i hope you understood what is stability in a sorting algorithm and why stability is important right in the real world.